pretty quiet in here. Nobody chewing boxes in the background. <clears throat> hey everyone, welcome to weekly vlog 66, I want to say. <laughs> but it was quite a few days ago when I edited the weekly vlog, so I'm not sure. I'm sorry. So if you're new to my channel, then you won't really know why I might be a bit off this week. Oh, it's gone really bright. Say I'm out of touch. Not recorded for a few days and then I forget. Is that better? So yeah, if you watched last week's weekly vlog, then you will know the horrible news that I had last week. Uh, if you didn't watch last week's weekly vlog or if you're completely new to my channel, then I had some bad news last week. Um, my little baby rabbit passed away. It's still really hard to say that. Ugh, I don't want to cry anymore. So yeah, I didn't record last, like at the end of last week's weekly vlog um, because I got home from London and found out and I just couldn't record, which I just want to say straight off the bat right now, like I've tried to figure out how I want to put this and there are just no words to say how grateful I am to you guys across all of my social media as soon as I told everyone what had happened everybody was so lovely like you guys have been so amazing like the response and the support has been like unbelievably overwhelming like I did not realize like I know you guys are great like I love you guys but I didn't realize how many of you were that supportive like it was crazy like I can't even like that sounds like oh I don't know I don't want to put it wrong I just can't explain it any better other than thank you I've honestly had hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of messages and I still haven't even replied to them all because there's that many so if I never get around to replying to them all because I'm still trying to and you were one of the people that sent me any type of condolences about the rabbit then thank you so much but there are so many messages it's unbelievable that like, you guys either really really like the rabbit or you are just really supportive and great either way thank you it helped so much like I appreciate it so much like I didn't even get one person saying it's just a rabbit I thought there'd be some horrible little random hater out there that would have been like Ew, it's just a rabbit but it didn't it didn't happen like that like everybody was so unbelievably lovely so thank you everybody thank you i got home from london last week on the thursday night um i just couldn't put it into words at the time i'm still finding it hard now but i'll try and just give you a quick little update of what happened without going into too much detail because obviously that's not very nice but i know some of you might want to know how it happened um so i'm not going into too much detail but basically i got in on thursday night matthew picked me up from the train station and Bless him, he managed to hold it together till we got home. I had absolutely no idea. And then we got home and then Matthew was just absolutely bawling in tears. I thought something had happened on his side of the family. Like I had absolutely no idea. Like no idea that what he was about to tell me was what he was about to say. Um, the, so I was away in London Tuesday to Thursday. So early Tuesday morning till late uh, Thursday night. And the rabbit passed away on Wednesday morning. So Matthew, bless him, had to go through that on his own. He made the decision not to tell me while I was in London, which I actually appreciate. I actually rather, like, I'm glad that he did it that way. Because I had an amazing time in London. And if I'd found out, oh my God, like, it's hit me so bad. Like, I probably would have got the train home because I actually had a train ticket for the Wednesday night. Uh, if you've like followed me along for a while though you'll know I had to book an extra night so I originally had a train ticket for the day before and stuff so I could have actually come home early and to be honest I don't think I would have gone to the Primark event I don't think I would have been able to mentally like I don't think I would have done any of the things that I was supposed to be doing while I was down London if I'd found out so yeah as horrible as it sounds I'm glad I didn't find out till when I got back I even rang him and stuff on the phone and he, he's obviously since told me that it was just so hard not to tell me. And he obviously had to be alone the whole time, being upset and yeah, just couldn't talk about it with me. Um, but yeah, it was for the best because I got to do everything I needed to do in London. And it was, it was just a day and a half by the time I got back. So yeah, I got in and Matthew basically just told me 
he the rabbit was completely normal he was under the bed on tuesday night asleep he doesn't always sleep under the bed in fact it's very rare that he sleeps under the bed because obviously boundaries with rabbits you have to let them know that their cage is their space and your house is like you you let them go into your space sort of thing but matthew was by himself so he let the rabbit sleep under the bed and you know it's nice company and the rabbit he could hear the rabbit all night like doing what the like he does when the rabbit sleeps under the bed around about the time just before matthew's work alarm goes off the rabbit goes downstairs you hear him go downstairs and then not long later the alarm will go off he's kind of like awake and ready for his breakfast sort of thing and he goes downstairs so the rabbit did that like usual he went downstairs Matthew heard him go downstairs, his alarm went off. Um, he said he could hear the rabbit walking around and stuff on the wood floor, but he didn't think too much of it because, uh, you know, he was walking around. Uh, he snoozed his alarm twice, got up, brushed his teeth, went downstairs, and the rabbit had gone. It was that quick, so yeah. We have absolutely no idea what happened. So I'm just gonna put a little disclaimer in now. I'm not gonna like show you anything or go into too much gory detail, but I'm just gonna go into detail a little bit, basically. Matthew said in hindsight he could hear the rabbit's foot like feet on the wood floor and now he thinks it was the rabbit on his side kicking his legs so um he, it sounds like he's had a, a stroke or a heart attack or something there was nothing in his throat Matthew did compressions on him Matthew tried everything he could but he was gone like he was either just literally going or he had just gone when Matthew walked downstairs. He rang the emergency vet straight away. Like he did so well, bless him. That's all I can tell you because I'm going to start crying. I don't want to cry anymore. So but that was basically it. That's what happened. So yeah, I'm very proud of Matthew for handling it the way that he did. Woo! This is not easy. Uh, so the vet went through all the procedures with him, but he was gone. So. It could have been a number of things. He could have had a heart attack, uh, a stroke. He could have had an underlying health problem. He could have picked up viral meningitis from the garden. Like there was nothing, like there was no warning signs. He was fine. He wasn't losing weight. He was eating fine. His poops were all fine. He was drinking fine. He was weighing fine. Uh, he wasn't bloated. There was nothing out of the normal. So yeah. I don't want to go into any more detail because I don't want to freak people out. I don't want it to be like gory. I know like younger children watch my channel and I know loads of people are probably going to say oh it was probably this or it could have been this but honestly like without sounding rude you know I don't think we need to know what it was. It's happened. It's just one of those things. So yeah. Not in a mean way. I don't want to sound rude like I don't want to hear your opinion or anything like that sort of thing. Not like that. It's just that like people have said have you had a and like an autopsy or whatever done on the whatever you call it when you find when once that once they've passed away you have like a a thing done on them so you can find out what why they died like what what happened to them we like we didn't get that done like it's happened there's nothing we can do about it we don't need to know how he died like there was nothing we could have done he was healthy he was four a week ago well two weeks ago now my mom keeps saying oh he was old though for a rabbit he was four no he wasn't old he was young rabbits his kind of size can live bleh, seven eight years to 13 years old smaller rabbits can live till the 15 the longest living house rabbit was 18 years old i think so he was not old he was young and he was healthy and he was happy I didn't think I had any tears left to cry. God, now I've started, I can't stop. We have both cried a lot. Right, okay. I'm just gonna quickly get through the rest of the stuff I want to say and then we'll have to change the subject because I can't stop crying. So it's actually Friday today. I'm really sorry that I haven't gotten back to you as before today. Whew. Whew. All right, so I edited the weekly vlog on Sunday last week. Um, I took the Friday, Saturday and Sunday off from that weekly vlog edited the weekly vlog on the Sunday because Matthew was at work on the Saturday and Sunday so he took Friday off because he knew it was the first day me being back from London and I was you know I'd just been told on Thursday night slash Friday morning that my baby had just died so 
Matthew took work off so that I wasn't in the house on my own but he was in work on the Saturday and Sunday so that kind of sucked. So to keep myself busy I did a lot of work and I edited the weekly vlog on the Sunday because then Matthew had the Monday and Tuesday of this week so it's now Friday on this week. Matthew had Monday and Tuesday off and me and Matthew just spent it together hanging out. We went to Metro Centre, we seen the new Jurassic Park movie, just to try to take our minds off it. Uh, Jurassic Park movie, the new one, didn't enjoy it as much as the last one and didn't enjoy the last one as much as the originals. I do really like the last one, the more I see it. But yeah, this one, it was good, but I don't know, I feel like they just did it for the sake of it. I feel like it could have been a lot better, but I didn't expect it to be amazing anyway because they're nothing like the originals, so on the Friday, the day after the I got home and found out that the rabbit had passed away. We um buried the rabbit in the garden, that's what we decided to do. Picked a nice spot for him. Oh, I'm trying to get through this quickly so that, you know, I don't want my channel to be negative, so I'm trying to get through this quickly just so I can catch you up on what's happened. And then on Tuesday of this week, we decided that we want to put a white rose bush where he's buried because he was a white rabbit and we just thought it would be lovely to put that in the garden where he now is. So we went to find one on Tuesday, we went to a garden centre and we also got Matthew some new shoes, nothing exciting. We just went to a local like outlet and got Matthew some new work shoes and gym shoes and yeah he needed like three new pairs of shoes. He has one pair of shoes that he wears for everything, it's ridiculous. So he now has a pair of gym shoes, work shoes and casual shoes. So we did that and we couldn't find a rose bush so we're going to try again at the weekend. There was no like traditionally white shaped roses. They were all like different kinds of roses and I just want that traditional white rose. Like you know the one that conducts in the the garden of the flowers in Alice in Wonderland like the traditional white rose. I just want that for the rabbit basically. So Matthew went back to work on Wednesday. I fully intended to pick the camera back up on Wednesday. But, as you can see, I'm still not great. So, I've just been at the computer every day for the last three days. It's like Thursday, it's Friday, sorry, about six o'clock now. And I really just want to catch up with you before it's Saturday and then it's two days worth of vlog, which is ridiculous. So, honestly, all you have missed from when I decided to start vlogging again, which was Wednesday and then I didn't, is me sat at the computer every day. With me being in London the last three weeks in a row and it's like preparing for London and then being in London and then days after London like resting the last three weeks I've had to, I haven't I've had no time to do anything like absolutely nothing so Wednesday Thursday Saturday I've been at the computer every day getting secret project stuff done I am excited some things aren't going to be here for a couple of weeks like there's still some things getting made my main thing that I'm designing for a secret project is the final sample fingers crossed, is coming on Monday or Tuesday next week, I want to say. So yeah, that's massive because it's like I've had five samples of this thing trying to make it perfect and I'm hoping, hoping that this is now going to be perfect. So I've got the last sample of that coming next week. This probably makes no sense to new people to my channel, so I'm sorry. And it's probably really boring as well, but yeah. Basically, I've just been doing a lot of Secret Project. Secret Project should. I wanted to get Secret Project up and running in June, but honestly, it looks like it's going to be July, which is not, ex oh, it's not good. It's, I had a plan and June was launch, even though I've never really mentioned that because I guess when it actually started coming down to it, I think I started to realise that June might have been too soon. And then especially with the setback of the last three weeks. It looks like Secret Project's going to be launched in July. Fingers crossed and if it is July it'll be the end of July honestly it's taken ages I feel how long have I been doing secret project like I'm sick of hearing the word secret project that is basically what is a fist me crying my eyes out every day and then me working on secret project so yeah you know I had a feeling that something bad was gonna happen when I was in London basically London was so amazing like I had a tarot reading who was just like, I think I mentioned this as well, like everything she was saying was so on point. And she was like, oh, you've got like, you're thinking of relocating for work. And I was like, oh my God, yes. And she was like, you need to do that. She was like, you're gonna get more opportunities. You're gonna get more like career work. You're gonna get, you're gonna get more money coming in. Cause I know you're tight on money at the minute. And I was just like, how do you know all this? And then she was like, I will say one thing. This was on the Thursday. So the rabbit had died on the Wednesday and I didn't know when this was the Thursday. And she went to me 
I will say one thing you need to take the next couple of days off. She was like, don't do any work for a couple of days once you get back from London and then start afresh next week. And I was like, okay. And I just thought it was because I had ME and I didn't actually realise Matthew was in work at the weekend. So I thought, I've got ME, so I'll, I'll be knackered. I was going to take a few days off, like, and then Matthew's off at the weekend, so I'll hang out with Matthew. I thought she meant that. I had no idea that she meant that I was going to have to take time off because I was mourning my baby rabbit. She was spot on with everything. She just didn't warn me about that part. So yeah, apart from that, um, London was so amazing. I've got so much stuff from companies, literally just off the last week as well, mounting up coming in the post and stuff I got while I was in London. And I just haven't had a chance to do anything about it and put it around the internet because I'm just constantly either crying or working on a secret project. It's like taking a few days off. I needed it, but there's so much to do, it's unreal. When I was getting the underground to the King's Cross station on Thursday to get the train home. I remember being stood in the lift thinking something bad is gonna happen because this happened a few months ago and I didn't talk about it. But basically if you, like, when I get really, really happy and excited and just general kind of positive, amazing outlook on life, something bad always happens. And a few months ago, so I felt like that. We were starting to decorate the, like the garage, like secret project was like going ahead. I was just really happy with the, how things were going. Like Instagram was going well and Matthew was doing well at work and oh, I was just really happy. And then something really bad happened that I didn't even talk about online. And I managed to kind of like not bring it up because I want my channel to be positive and it was just a personal thing. But yeah, that happened and it was horrible. And I was like, you know, it's typical. I get myself all happy and, you know, getting somewhere, well, at least what I felt like, and then something horrible happened and I just didn't want to talk about it. And then it was the same while I was in London. I was really looking forward to Secret Project and like things were starting to come through. I have a lot of business opportunities at the minute with regards to blogging, like, touch wood. <laughs> Things are going really well and I was just really happy and I'd had a great time. I'd met Hannah, Hannah Marie Magic, I'd hung out with like my blogging friends. Oh my god, that Disney event was so amazing. I was gifted so much amazing stuff. I was literally on cloud nine and I was just like, I'm so happy. And then it scares me because it's like every time that happens, something bad happens. And then I was like, no, put it out of your mind, put it out of your mind. And I kept putting it out of my mind and I was stood in the lift on the underground, King's Cross underground, and I was like... <sighs> I can't be this happy, something bad always happens. And I was like, I feel like something bad's going to happen. But little did I know it had already happened. I don't think I've had a day since it happened where I haven't cried. It's not even like it was a little thing that'll pass. Like, he's gone. Ugh! I can't even talk about it, I just cry. I've had pets before and it's never affected me like this. I think it's because he was literally mine. When you're little, your parents buy you a hamster or a guinea pig or you have like the family dog in the house and it's everyone's but like this is different my baby i'm trying to calm down i don't think i've ever been this hurt before by anything right we have to stop talking about it now so the got hair in my mouth okay so i can't talk about it anymore because i'll just keep crying so Right, I don't know what me and Matthew are doing for the rest of the night. Um, it is just, well, for most people on a Friday night, it's probably like a big deal, but it's really not for me and Matthew. Like, it's just another night. I think we're gonna try and see Solo because I was really kindly gifted some Solo Star Wars stuff, um, which I knew I was getting over a week ago. And because of what happened with Mr. Boon, um, things have been put back. We did manage to go and see Jurassic Park, but we still want to see Solo, Star Wars Story, and we still want to see Deadpool. So yeah, I agreed to, to get sent some Solo stuff to review. So the Solo stuff's arrived today, and I haven't seen it, so I need to see it, because I want to give it an honest review, like the stuff. like and It's just like toys and things, but still. So I think we're going to probably be at Metro Centre at the weekend. Just a couple of things we're going to do this weekend, but tonight's just going to be a bit of a chill night. I want to say now that... Uh, if the weekly vlog, when you were watching this, went up late, it is because on Monday, it is Mickey Monday. So it's Mickey Memories Monday release on Monday. So 
because these are only getting tonight saturday and sunday i don't want to edit this early on the sunday because then you'll just not have a sunday it'll literally be like a day and a half vlog so i'm gonna go to get the mickey memories on the monday i'm not going to do any shopping or anything not really i'm going to come straight home and edit this and get it up so hopefully it shouldn't be up too late but if it is it's because i went out to get the mickey memories this morning good luck there i hope you get it i will just quickly say though that oh, if you go to the metro center store or the newcastle store up here to get your mickey memories release you probably already know this but be warned for next week's weekly vlog because i have no idea how my mickey memories release is going to go hmm if you've been watching my channel for a while though you'll know that we've had problems with the queuing system basically at metro centre you it's a mall you're not allowed to queue in the mall for the mickey memories so what we have been doing is we've been getting in one of the entrances that is open even though the mall's supposed to be closed and then what we do is we get there before half eight which is when the mall opens so i personally get there uh, about half six um i walk around the disney store i get my ticket for the mickey memories like ticket system and then i walk back around outside of the mall and wait there until half eight so we're not queuing in the mall and then go back around to half eight and we all get in ticket order so that's kind of been the general thing now that we've been doing for the last two months but apparently into is not happy about this so into is the people that own the metro center basically now we are not allowed to go into the mall before half eight and get our tickets if we go in and knock on the disney store shutters they'll just say we're not allowed to give you the tickets until half eight so like i'm having heart attack palpitations just thinking about it even though the tickets aren't handed out till a certain time at some stores are allowed to queue in order everybody's at different entrances everybody's just gonna run in so oh my god like i could get there as early as i want they're not going to give me a ticket until half eight <sighs> and then at half eight we're all just gonna run around like people are gonna get hurt like i can't run like this is not fair and another thing is that Newcastle Disney Store has now closed. So there is two, two shop full of peoples going to be running to this store to get the plushes. I am freaking out. I am, I suppose, in a position where I can try and organise it. So I get why people... Well, well um, let me put this better. Basically, people have been messaging me, which I get. I work with Metro Centre and I work with Disney Store and I work with Disney. So I get that people are messaging me saying, Sarah, please get this sorted. So I've tried, um, I've been speaking to Metro Centre, they said I had to speak to Disney Store and I've been speaking to Disney Store and they have said it's Into, it's the security at Into. Um, Disney are aware of the situation and they've tried to do something about it. I have tried my hardest, I've been in discussions with Metro Centre and Disney Store for the last couple of days, there's nothing I can do. I d I'm as stressed and upset about it as you guys are, so wish me luck for that. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing because I realise this has been the world's longest intro and probably is really boring. So I'm just going to go downstairs, do a bit of tidy, you make some dinner. It probably won't be very interesting for the rest of the night, but I just really want to start recording again and catch up with you guys. And thank you again for being so understanding and lovely. So yeah, let's go downstairs and see if we can make some dinner for me and Matthew. It's Saturday. Mazu's here. I don't even think you were in last week's weekly vlog. Catch up with them, tell them how you are. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm good. You, are you okay? Yeah, a bit tired from work, but I'm getting by. How are you feeling mentally? Okay. I was talking to them yesterday about the rabbit, you see. Yeah, still miss them, obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Anyway, yeah. It's Saturday and we've come out because we have a list of things we need to do this weekend. So we've come to Halfords because when me and Anna got my car fixed the other week, um, I had a new wiper blade on. I don't know if, if, if you've been following along this long, you'll know, but I snapped the wiper blade off in the snow a few months ago. So I got new ones put on and then me and Anna got new ones put on and they're absolutely rubbish. Like you're going to check them to see if they're actually new, aren't you? They're definitely not they can't be new. Questions. They're so bad, like you can't, they're just, no, they're terrible. So we've come to Halfords, we're gonna get some white blades, then we're gonna go to the garden centre, get a white rose bush, which I was explaining to you yesterday, and then we're gonna go to me nana's and get a table, because we're doing a carpet sale, finally, aren't we, tomorrow? Hopefully, if the weather's okay. It should be, I've checked, looking forward to it. And then, um, 
I've never done car boot sale with you. Did one with Rachel, the right laugh. I've never done one. It's when people come up and, they're, and you go £10 and they're like 50p. And it's like, what did you hear? Like, like there's no haggling, there's just 50p. And and the, there's like professionals that come up at the last minute when you're packing the car away and they're like 10 pence. And it's like, you know I have to give you that for 10 pence. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, and then we're going to go to Metro later because we need Father's Day presents for tomorrow. And we're going to see Solo, which I was also explaining yesterday. I got sent some stuff. Did you look at it? No. Oh, we got, I got sent some stuff and I don't know the characters, so I don't want to look at it properly until I can give it a proper review. So, yeah, we're just going to do those things today, aren't we? Yes. And you're going to fit my new wiper blades. I'm sure you how to, how to fit them. I know how to fit them, you know. But... Oh, well, you can do it then. When I had that broken one a few months ago and I had to call the AA man out to do it for us, because I literally oh, couldn't... Called breakdown to change a wiper blade. Yeah, because I couldn't get it off. It was really nice about it, though. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Do you want to tell them or should I? Um... Well, I just went This man in the car, as well, you've made it sound like it's my fault and he's proper laughing. <laughs> it wasn't even me. Basically, I had new wiper blades on. I told me Nana I don't need new ones when she got like, like, cause the car broke down to her house. So she had a, a garage near her that she takes her car to. So she booked it in there basically. And then they, she, she was like, oh, like insisting, like, oh, I'll get you new oil and new wiper blades and everything. And I was like, Nana, I don't need new wiper blades. I've just had new wiper blades. Anyway, she got new wiper blades and they've been rubbish. I mean, I've used them like maximum three times and in, in the rain yeah a few times yeah but this is the thing right matthew's just checked them before we go into halfords to see why they're so rubbish and tell them why they're so rubbish <laughs> because you've still got the covers on them <laughs> but why have they fitted wiper blades and then left the covers on them i don't know i didn't check them because why would a garage leave the covers on i just thought they would they'd, um they'd like fobbed me nana off and not put good wiper blades on i thought they'd put like old ones lying around on because they were really bad but it's because they had the plastic covers on so matthew pulls them off and starts laughing and then the man in the car is like laughing at me like i'm some stupid lass and it's like i didn't do it thanks for that matthew would you want to put them back on no but at least we don't have to buy wiper blades now my wiper blades do actually work and they didn't fob my nana off but this man in the car next door thinks i'm an idiot you didn't check them either. You've I'm been in the checking. car. You've been in the car with us every time. I've, we've both said these wiper blades are rubbish. I'm not gonna get out while you're doing 50 on the motorway to check your wiper blades. Well, no, are. but like anyway. Now let's go to the garden centre, shall we? Yes. After that stupid little detour that was unnecessary because the garage can't take off the covers when the fit wiper blades. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> I can the house and it smells really good. with this rose down yeah i think so i think it's the whitest we're gonna get isn't it yeah. you wanted this one though didn't you good to think that's a razor bus i don't know Thank you. 
Oh, they've got the big black one in, but they don't have all the houses in, like the one I got the big slither in. They got a famous quote. There was a couple, but I'm gonna be putting one on my Instagram where it's like, oh, what was it that I said? And I told you it before. Is there a song? A song? Yeah. I don't think it's a song. Is there a chant? Yeah, like, what is it? Something, something, victory or something, and then something, something, the ducks. I'm trying to think what it is. Can you think what it is? I've never seen it. What do we want? Victory? Who are we the ducks? That doesn't sound right, does it? I need to figure out what it is. But they have a chant and I need to figure out what it is. I've just gotten back from the cinema. It's two minutes past twelve. What did you think, Matthew, of the movie? Yeah, we, we actually enjoyed it more than we thought we were going to. Like, the trailer did not give it justice at all. I remember when I seen the trailer, I was just like, not interested. Like, that's a shame that they haven't, I'm so blurry, that they haven't done that very, like, it doesn't look very good sort of thing. I don't feel like there's been much hype. I haven't heard that many people talking about it. It wasn't, like, a big deal when it came out. Like, people weren't, like, extremely excited. Uh, but it was actually really good. I actually really enjoyed it. Like, it was so much better than what I thought. I'm glad we went and seen it in the cinema. I think it is actually a cinema worthy movie like i feel like if why does this keep focusing on the background i feel like if we'd seen that on telly i would have been like oh I sh probably should have seen that in the cinema because it's a star wars movie and it was good it was, yeah, yeah. Good. so i actually quite enjoyed it now i can give it a good review on my merch and i'm actually looking forward to opening it all because i like the movie and it's i like star wars anyway so yeah i'm actually i am happy with that movie well done star wars peoples anyway yeah so it's quite good and then we'll just come home um, because we're going to go to PP's now. I have to get up early because we're doing a car boot sale, so say goodnight, Matthew. Goodnight, Matthew. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Morning, everyone. It is the next day. It is Sunday. And we are on our way to do a car boot sale. It's about 23 minutes past 10. And our sat-nav says 9 minutes and we have to be there for half past. So we're in a bit of a hurry. But well, we're not doing too bad, are we? No. I couldn't get out of bed. It's basically just a lot of like clothes that I get sent 
I'm all happy. It's clothes that you've had for years that you've never worn. Yeah, it's all stuff from companies. I get, I feel like, I don't get sent as much clothes now, but when I first started vlogging, I got sent a lot of clothes because I was, well, I was just a fashion blogger, really, like, in beauty. I didn't really do Disney when I started. So, there's a lot of clothes and I just don't wear it. So, we're getting rid of a lot of my clothes and just a couple of pieces from around the house, but there's just a lot. So that's what we're doing. So we're kind of in a bit of a hurry, but we're we're all right. Matthew bless him hasn't even had breakfast. <laughs> but uh, we pulled over and got me a Costa coffee, uh, Costa coffee, a Costa cup of tea. You know, the essentials. And we're just on our way now. So I was just saying to Matthew that like Matthew's never done his own car boot sale before. So I was telling them like what people are like. Like you'll say to someone like ten pound and they'll be like fifty p. And it's like no. Haggle, or just give me a tenner. So I've done a car boot sale before once with my little sister. I mean, we've been to car boot sales, so we'll be all right. So that is the plan, but we're in a bit of a hurry. So let's go car boot sale. And I've got no makeup on because I couldn't be bothered. It's Sunday. Sunday is the day for no makeup. I am making it a room. <laughs> Basically, we got here just after half past and we went in the entrance that looked like it was the entrance and at first I was like, oh, it started because there was loads of people walking around cars and then loads of parked cars. So I was like, it started like the website must have been wrong because I think half 12 is late for a car boot sale to start. But now I think we understand why because basically we pulled around, we were pulling around and there was like, a queue of people going into a field. And like people, like this old man got really angry. Did you not see his face? No, I didn't see. It looked like basically we were about to push in the seller queue. We didn't realize it was sellers and that there was another entrance you were supposed to go in at the back of the queue. Um. So anyway, one of them let us out and we've come around and we've got in the back of the queue. And there's like over a thousand cars here, isn't there? Yeah. Over a thousand sellers here. So this is a crazy big boot sale. So we just accidentally almost pushed in front of this queue. Which was bigger because we've been here about 20 it's minutes. Literally, cars as far as the eye can see. It's absolutely crazy. And there's still cars pulling up, there's still another line. There's people behind us. Like, it's absolutely crazy. But anyway, so that's what we're doing right now. We're waiting to get in. This queue is taking a while to get in. It's pretty massive. Like, I really need to pee. If I'd known we were going to be queuing, I would have pulled over and, like, gone into Asda and peed and then come and queued. Like, I didn't realize we were going to be sat queuing. I thought it was just a pull up and go thing. I didn't realise it was this big. This is the biggest car boot sale I've ever seen. This is every Saturday and Sunday. We've searched for car boot sales and this has never come up in the search before. I don't understand. Anyway, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Camera's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even point the camera and you're like... <laughs> Nicholas just said hi to me at the car boot sale, so I just wanted to say hi on the camera. Cause I thought Hello, it was cool. make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> 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 you can turn the camera like this. How did that go, Matthew? I feel dry from the wind. Like my face hurts from the yeah, wind. It's been pretty windy. It was so windy. It was next to the sea. So it was See him on the sea. Yeah, see him, basically. And it was really it was really windy. And we had a coat like a clothes rail with clothes on, because that's what I was selling, all my clothes. And it was just um oh my god, it was a nightmare. I had a hold of it constantly. It won't hurt my at one point at one point my hand went my face hurts to talk from the wind anyway at one point my hand went blue but anyway so i didn't really get the camera out because it was like constant wasn't it like you definitely need more than one person on a stall because you were kind of like doing like the table and then i was doing like the clothes reel so we worked well as a team didn't we are you supposed to go so yeah I just didn't get the camera out because I just there was there wasn't really a chance was there we were no. stood up constantly like I am dying now like I am so tired like we it's didn't like there was much to record either. It was just yeah there wasn't itself. much to record we we didn't get a look around we were stood up the whole time like 
it's pretty tiring it was just really windy uh, and you just like not to sound bad but you've got to just keep an eye on everything but yeah so it went well didn't it we've yeah. kind of added up the money a little bit to see what we've made and we're, we're pleasantly surprised aren't we all right so not bad for day's work we were just discussing if we can ever go back to disneyland soon so we'll say won't we or spain also no disneyland matthew not spain so spain not on the table spain's not on the table spain's not on but two well two, someone recognized me because they seen matthew and i had my hood up so i literally was a right scruff today but i didn't really care and then um someone recognized you seen you so then assumed that the girl with you was me which obviously it is and then uh it was amanda as well Ooh. oh <laughs> so amanda who comments on my youtube videos all the time so amanda thank you for saying hello but we i couldn't really get the camera out because i locked it away in the glove box so yeah amanda thank you for saying hi that was cool and then when we were packing up i want to see nicola and sheila i'm so bad I'm so bad with names. But we said hello on here, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we got we got the camera out and we said hello. And then uh, I got a picture. So yeah, that was really cool. So I got recognised twice, which is just absolutely crazy. I was like, what are the chances that I would get recognised with my hood up hiding with no makeup on? But I wasn't hiding because I didn't have makeup on. I was cold and it was windy and my hair was annoying me. Like, you know when your hair just goes everywhere. Anyway, we're going to get food now because we haven't had lunch. Matthew hasn't had breakfast. And it's, what is it, four after four? It's 20 past four and we haven't eaten all day. I'm dying and I feel pretty bad to be honest. So let's go and get some food. <laughs> Matthew, did you take the food before I was able to vlog it? How inconsiderate of you. We are now back home. Uh, I can't remember the last time I spoke to you. Oh, we were at McDonald's. Yeah, we went to McDonald's. Um, I did nip into my mum's just for like maybe an hour or two just because it's obviously father's day but i didn't get me dad anything for father's day because the car boot sale finished and the shops had finished because it's sunday but i told him that seeing me was his present <laughs> anyway no he was fine with it i'll just take him around some a card like next week or something um and we didn't go and see matthew's dad because matthew's dad's is your dad on a train or something a special train thank you oh what is it? See, that's you being silly. Just give me my money, vitamin. Where's your dad? Ugh. On a trip on a train. Cream tea and train rides. Cream tea and train rides? That actually sounds fun. <laughs> anyway, so we didn't see Matthew's dad. The only thing that we didn't do was pick up your new shoes, but you're going to do it tomorrow after work, aren't you? So I think we did well this weekend. Anyway, I just thought we'd sign off. I know it's been a bit of a short week this week and I don't know how much has really happened. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll be back to normal weekly vlogging this coming week. I'm in the house all week, no current plans to do anything else, so. So, oh, and also though, Matthew's like a beetroot. Like, I haven't bit, like, it wasn't even sunny, I don't understand. It wasn't sunny, it was cloudy, it was windy. It was, like, bright, but even without sunglasses you could get by, but there was at one point where I was like, oh, I, I would have liked my sunglasses. And then um, we were sat in McDonald's and like obviously Matthew was sat opposite us and I was like you look a bit red and I was like it's almost like you're sunburned and then he came out of McDonald's and he was like a beetroot and it just seems to have gotten worse and even me dad was like oh you have caught the sun Matthew <laughs> from here Matthew it looks like something out of a movie you look ridiculous oh I've burnt so much oh my god it's hilarious I haven't burnt at all like it wasn't sunny his arms are fine Everything else is fine, but his face and sides of his neck are beetroot red. I'm gonna end the weekly vlog. I hope you got your Mickey memories by the time he's watched this, because it'll be Monday night. Um, if not, I'm really sorry. I hope I got mine. And um, you'll have to find out next week. Or if you follow me on Instagram, I'll be putting it all on my Instagram story tomorrow. Or Twitter, I'll be letting you know as well. So try and follow me on them if you're if you're interested. But anyway, I'm gonna stop laughing. I hope you enjoyed the weekly vlog. Good luck at any Mickey memories today, even though it's after the release. And I'll see you in next week's weekly vlog. Bye, guys.